So this is the uh, uh, drive system I have for my uh, current R2 and my R5. Uh, it was the uh, third drive system I have. Basically, it's a um, 2x4 aluminum tube and two of them are screwed together. Uh, this is the opening for the scooter motor, 100 watt E100 scooter motors. Uh, this is the three holes for mounting the motor, the hole for the wheel. Um, this is where the axle for the wheel goes and uh, the belt tensioning system. Um, all cut out with the jigsaw, uh, drill, drill bit and jigsaw. So um, this is for my R2 which weighs about 110 pounds, R5 weighs about 107, uh, it works out pretty good. I said this is what I have. Um, I started putting this together for my current R2 and then I had uh, height issues, clearance issues, so I went to go. So this is, uh, now it's, it's instead of uh, two by fours bolt together, it's a two by three. I got from my local uh, metal supermarket. Um, so and the wheel's also been uh, ground down, so that I reduce my right right height for my uh, foot shelves. Um, it says uh, right now three holes for the uh, so three holes for the uh, motor mount. Motor, the hole is for the wiring to go through. This is the wiring. Um, and you can see the uh, here the uh, belt tightening system on it. Again, cut out with a, a drill to start it off, and then a metal jigsaw for the openings. You can see um, a channel, or actually a square tube cut open for the channel, and you can see my ankle is basically uh, one solid chunk to give it. Uh, Rigidity, strength in the frame. Um, the leg is a two by four, not the correct shape because I couldn't get the exact channel at the time. But uh, that's the way I'm going. And it says um, you do have to be aware that uh, uh, th like I said, this is four inches right here. Might be just a bit wide. Uh, for some foot shells, so you have to be careful on that. But uh, like it says, uh, on my R5 and on my R2, it's been fairly, fairly rigid, very stable. And like it says, uh, uh, one wheel on the end, uh, no caster, uh, since it is solidly locked. And like I said, that's my dry system. Material cost, I think, I believe about 30 bucks for the raw material for the aluminum tube. Uh, same amount for the for the other one. Um, that was about thirty bucks also for two for left and right. So and there you have it. Bit of work. Um, uh, to to cut it out with the metal jigsaw. Uh, as long as I had new blades, actually it didn't take too long. I think I did this in in two nights and uh, for both sides. And uh, same with this, about two nights. Um, to do both sides so um, and like it says it, it's a bit rough in the cuts area but it's not seen so that's okay and that's that